This is going to be a major talking point over these first two stages. They've only done two passes over the opening stages of Rally Victoria. We saw Scott Pettis ties there. Let's have a little look at Brendan Reeves. He won the second stage, and this could be one of the reasons. Look at the chunky tyres still on there. It's looked after it in the first stage. Second stage is capitalised. So at the moment we've got Brennan Reeves who's leading the rally only by a couple of seconds. Young Stephen McKenzie's done a fantastic job. He's right behind these guys who are battling it for the championship. And our last year's champion, expecting so much from Eli Evans and Glenn Wesson, apparently they've broken a drive shaft and are out for the day. Lots to talk about only after two stages. We're here at the remote service. Chance for us to catch up and have a chat to them right now. So Brendo, good start. Form continues, but big heavy tyre wear for Scotty in that second one so obviously his car and himself not looking after the tyres maybe as much as yourself. Yeah no we had a bit of a trick up our sleeve we actually front to rear there wasn't any time but Rian and I worked like crazy and we did that. If we don't give ourselves a chance today to try and win the heat there's no point you know with Eli out um, if Scott just went and got 50 points today it makes it very hard so if we can use eight tyres today we'll go for it you know and keep the pressure on him for tomorrow so that worked good for us we got him by six in the second one. Um, Mackenzie's doing good times so that's good good having a third car up there. Yeah. Um, anything can happen, it's anyone's rally. Scotty, I've got two key questions for you. One's the repair, one's the tyre situation, but how is the car after the damage from the power stage? No, the car feels fine, it feels really, really good. Um, just a lot skatier than what I thought was going to be, in the, particularly in that first stage, it surprised me. I had like two spins in the first three corners, I think. Um, but then, yeah, obviously the tyre wear is a major concern. We've only done about 30 kilometres or 34 or something and we're repeating those two so if anything you could argue the toss we think that you could wear more. Um, what's going on in your head on how to play this game, balancing the championship points, heat points, all that sort of stuff, lots to think about. Yeah look, we're going to take um, uh, a change of tyres for after the next one um, because we think that if we can win the heat then that takes a hell of a lot of pressure off us for tomorrow. Uh, Brendo's already shown his cards and he's, he's, he's front to back so he's, he's four tyres down now. Um, so we'll see how we go with that. It's a bit light in the, and scary on the first stage over the fast crashy stuff and I'm not quite sure why. I think I might be a bit, bit too stiff in the rear but because I didn't test I don't really know. So <laughs> we'll go two clicks softer and see if that makes a difference. The car will either be better or worse one of the two. Eli, you just jumped out of the car. We heard a report of drive shaft but that doesn't seem to be the focus at the moment. No, well, it, yeah, look, it was. That okay. was what happened. Um, the boys came out and fixed me on the side of the road okay. and we returned. I just reported that the clutches sticky a little bit so um, even when you push it all the way in it, the car still drives forward so it's it's not a major it's just a, some slight adjustments we need to make I think so I'm not, we're not concerned about it. So really it's just uh, you know results gone for today you're sort of re-entered getting some stages under your belt ready for a crack tomorrow is that sort of yeah, where you're at? Yeah look the rear end didn't feel right like I didn't have enough grip through there so we're going to go in we're going to continue with the tyres we've got on the front now for the next two stages which are at sort of 50% so I don't know if we'll <laughs> I don't know if we'll finish. We're having a, having a bit of an issue with the turbo there. It's uh, not creating boost at certain points. I'm not sure why. So I think Scotty's there going to be downloading some data and sending it off to MoTeC right now. Hopefully they'll have a look at it and see what it's doing. Um, and then on the second stage, we stall at the start line and just a error. <laughs> but I guess the great positive out of that is that, you know, you're still formulating this car, developing it. You're having these little issues, but the times are there. So really encouraging for you and your brother going, we, we can do this. We've got some speed and it's going well. Yeah, absolutely. Once we string everything together, get the car running how it should, um, we'll be on the money. Well, mate, great job getting this thing repaired and getting back out there. You're repeating the same two stages. Good luck with that. Make sure you bring it home in the, uh, in the place it is now. Thanks, Dean. Cheers.